What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your boy Auto Guy DIY, coming at you with a video because I have a lot of talk on my in my comments about running temperature in their vehicles. So I've been hearing some real crazy numbers. So I'm here to show you today what the temperature should be while you're going down the road, running, operating temperature. It's 97 degrees out here right now. My truck's just warming up. You can see I'm at 195.8 on the temperature gauge. So I have my little thing scan tool for the fact that this doesn't have a digital readout like my 09. And I want to show you the miles. Here's 406,475 miles. We are getting them on here, baby. So as this goes up, I'm going to show you with these Hemi Rams, you have a 203 degree Fahrenheit thermostat. In the 03, it's the same one in my 09. So if you're running on a 97 degree day, if you're running, who knows, man, 215, 217, even 220, that's too hot. If your gauge, there, here's my gauge, right? If you watch my, know how to read your gauge and understand them, you would get this. So if your temperature gauge here gets over that halfway line right there, you need to start worrying. If your truck or car is running past the halfway mark on your temperature gauge for your coolant, you have an issue. So look, I'm at 203 now. That thermostat should be opening up. Let's see if it goes up or down. This is the initial run from cold water. See, it went up to 204. This is normal. This is how it works. We're just going to keep watching it for a second. Bear with me. and look let me show you where my gauge is at you see where that temperature gauge is riding now we're going back to the thing scan 206 that thermostat's opening this will also show you that that thermostat works 203 Look at that gauge, it's going back down. 201. 199. So that's my point. So we're gonna get riding. I'm gonna get this thing on the road. I'll click y'all back on. So here it is, man. We're sitting at a red light. It's 93 degrees out here, not 97. My temperature gauge changed. Show you right there, it's 93. We're setting at 204.8, and that's with the AC on, just cruising. Now watch this, I'm, I'm leaving the red light now. You watch that gauge. 203. I mean, that's, they're there, that's thermostat opening up completely at 203. So you know right now that you're running wide open with your thermostat. and I'm only doing 40 miles an hour so it's not like I'm just getting it down the road 93 degrees at 201 so this right here is proof that if your car is running I'm only doing 40 cutting through a little small neighborhood but if your truck's running 210 215 220 and you're just cruising right here man that's not right that's not right you need to look you got a blockage your water pumps trying to go out or your thermostats hanging and are sticking and then when it's opening it's opening late so i mean that's my point to all you guys that's out there talking about you know you're running 220 225 240 man that's not it dude that is way too hot way too hot at that temperature there you're risking lifting a head gasket and a head up and ruining your engine so the basic principle to this whole video is that if your cooling system your coolant temperature gauge is over the halfway mark 
you need to drop back and punt. You need to figure out what's going on because your car is not running correctly. So here we go, man. We've been riding for a minute. I want to show you a few things and note a couple of things while you're watching this temperature gauge. So for one, this would be your running temperature. I'm doing 45 miles an hour. It's 93 degrees out here. I keep showing y'all, but y'all need to see that I'm being honest with y'all. So you see it going up and down. We're at 199 now. So that should be two different things. One, you know your water pump is circulating your water. Correct? Correct. Two, you know your thermostat's opening and closing because I'm about to pull up to a red light here in a minute. And when I do, you'll see it start going back up, which means, you know, at 199 degrees or 197 degrees, that thermostat would be closed. It's a 203 degree thermostat. But whenever I get up to the light and I sit, that water is going to warm up. That antifreeze is going to warm up to where that thermostat will open back up. So just keep an eye on that on that reading. I know it's the only thing you can see. And then I also want to show y'all, see where my, my gauge is at? I mean, that's that's normal operation right there. Right? Not way past halfway. So back to the temperature here. I gotta bear with me, man. I don't do this every day. I'm riding trying to get some data for y'all. So just give me a minute. This this video should help you out a lot. It should your gauge, your temperature gauge should tell you a lot when you're looking at it going down the road. It should tell you a lot. It should tell you if your thermostat's opening and closing. It should tell you if your water pump's working or not. See, you can see that water trying to warm up. I'm going down the road, 45 miles an hour again. 203 is when you gotta watch it. If I can keep this camera straight, it might go up 204, but by the time you get to 204, your thermostat's completely open, 100%. So right now, as we're going down the road, that water is free flowing. I mean, that thermostat's wide open. Now it's starting to close. 201, it'll start closing. So, I mean, that's my point. If any one of y'all's cars are running anywhere from 215 to 230, big dog, you have a problem. You need to get into looking your low on coolant your water pump's trying to play out, your thermostat's sticking, something's going on. And if you roll with me, you know to start with the cheapest thing first. All right, guys, so the first half of the video, I was just cutting through town, you know, stop and go, traffic. It's 94 degrees out here now. So I'm gonna keep you on this gauge. I got the, I got the thing scan out, you know this already. And then I'm gonna show you, I'm about to get on the freeway and head to the house i got a short run on the freeway and i want to show you where the truck runs at the when i'm going down the freeway at 65. so here's the gauge i'm at 203 now it's a lot of glare on that thing i apologize so i'm at 203 now i'm sitting at the red light for the second time now i want you to notice that see it went down that's your thermostat opening up just like it's supposed to and now while I'm sitting here, so my point would be that whatever your thermostat is in your car, it might not be 203, you might have a 195, you might have a 186, I'm not really sure. So you need to find out what your thermostat is. But you shouldn't run more than a, anywhere from four to six degrees hotter than your thermostat is in your vehicle on a hot day. I mean, it's 94 out here. It's hot. All right, the light's green. We're rolling now. We're going to try to make this one. We're rolling now. See how it goes down? I mean, it's kind of bouncing around. That water's a little bit warm from just sitting there.
We're rolling now. We're through the red lights. We're getting on the freeway. And then this would be pretty much your normal operating temperature going down the freeway. I've been in the truck 30 minutes already running. But I do feel like I need to give y'all this, this live data like this, man, so y'all can see where y'all are supposed to be at and what's supposed to be going on. It's going up. You got that got that hot water pushing against that uh, temperature sensor. I can't get rolling. Everybody keeps cutting in front of me. See, I'm doing 65. Getting up to almost 70. See how it pretty much stays steady right there? Now as you go, that water will cool in that radiator, that thermostat will close, and then when it warms up, it'll open and it'll cool way down. So just watch that gauge. I mean, at this point, you have that hot water, it is moving. That water pump circulating like crazy. Sorry, 203. There it is, 201. See, the more I'm driving, the, the longer I'm on the freeway going down the road without stopping, that temperature will start settling down. The truck will run normal. So before I let y'all go, let me show you this gauge. I'll show you where we're sitting at. So you kind of got an idea where your gauge should be sitting when you're rolling. And that'll be that. All right, man, so we just got to the house. It's the last little bit of the video. We're going to end it. So I have a buddy on here, U.S. Work Line. I got you, big dog. You made a good point. So when you do shut your engine off, it will get hotter before it gets colder. So we're going to sit here and look. I just killed the truck. We're at 204.8. Let's see if this thing will make a move. So if you see, it's already went up to 208, 210. This is normal. This is normal. You have to understand something that is hot will get hotter before it cools down if it loses its circulation of air around it. 212. I want to see how high it'll go. I've never checked this. Um, to see how high it'll get before it starts cooling down. But I did understand the fact that something of that nature that is air cooled when you shut it off it will heat up before it cools down. So it looks like it's staying at 212. So that's what's up. That was a good point, big dog. And with all that, keep living the dream, doing your thing, like and subscribe. Always get at me with a comment, and I'm rolling out.